Hello, yes, that's right. Only Joe Owens can save and resurrect British nationalism. I know some may say I understand that's a tall order, Joe, and it is, because I'm no nationalist leader in the true sense of the word, like the late great John Tyndall or Nick Griffin for that matter. I'm just me, Joe Owens, right? I've got a lot of experience, right? A lot that I've learned the last several years. I could actually lead a political party. It wouldn't be a big thing. It may only be Liverpool based at first, but it would be in the hands of genuine, sincere, honest patriots, myself and other people who had carefully picked. The enemy would not have any control or influence over it. Yes, I'm sure they'd be joining in droves and you can't stop that, but they'd only show their hand once and they'd be out end of right you see at the present moment there is no british nationalism in britain as we know it all british nationalist parties let's say the once mighty national front and the once successful bmp under nick griffin they are now in the hands of open or hate spies so they're out the equation there's been other ones uh, paul golden uh, britain first and Anne marie waters um for britain they are creations of hope not hate or search like magazine or the big boys in mi5 or all three i don't know how it works but they'll all have an input somewhere their creations also i'll just get this out the way when you watch Anne marie waters or adam walker of the bmp there's no passion in them is the they're just acting they're just going along with it right there is no real passion you can see the phonies they're not real british nationalist leaders it's so obvious stevie wonder would see through it the brexit party it's doing great at the moment but it's going to be brought down because they're not listening right it's going to be brought down Another one that sadly didn't listen was Pauline Hanson of One Nation in Australia. I warned her about Steve Dixon several years ago, several years ago, that he would try and bring a One Nation down or at least disrupt it, smear it, discredit it. And lo and behold, what's happened? He was caught in a strip club, blah, blah, blah. Now, the subversion is done under the guise of something outside the party. But it still reflects on the party and on Pauline Hansen's One Nation, right? Being in the strip club and he's supposed to be a family man and he was standing in uh, those elections, uh, Queensland Senate, is it? He's, he's now pulled out, but he's still on the ballot paper, so he's done his job well. I warned uh, Pauline Hansen several years ago and she took no noses. You see that he goes too big, Nick Griffin. Pauline Hanson and probably John Tyndall as well. There's something about these people I just don't know. She never listened. I told her that he'd left the Liberal National Party, was it, to join uh, One Nation to bring it down, disrupt it, discredit it, and lo and behold, what happened? Joe Owens again has been proven right. And I'll continue to be proven right because I'm right. You see, Nick Griffin's in self-imposed retirement now, just waffling nonsense when... In fact, he should be the first out there trying to rebuild British nationalism, but he's not. How you've got the nerve to even show your face, I'll never know. Let alone post on Twitter or whatever. I, I will never know. You're a shameful man, you. Without a doubt. A shameless fucker, as one British nationalist once said. But anyway, so there's only Joe Owens that I can see what's happening so clearly. It's scary. Nick Griffin, in fact, is hobnobbing with hope not hate spies such as Jackson and Little Legs Jim Dowson and the National Front, the once mighty National Front is in the hands of that Tony Martin is in another hope not hate snitch and the BMP Adam Walker for Britain and Marie Waters, whoever they all work for, they work for an agency hostile to British nationalism, right? So there is no British nationalism, there's only Joe Owens in his videos, that's how sad it is. I like to say, Nick Griffin, you should be the first trying to rebuild it, the damage you've done, right? Uh, I'm in the process now 
of um, purchasing a digital duplicate and I'll get one of them back so no one can intercept me leaflets then can they? And I can print them at will. If a street just needs uh, leafling because there's an issue just in that street, I can do it. It's more practical. But British nationalism has to be rebuilt again. There's just a few little hurdles. I need to get a good treasurer who I can trust uh, and so on and so on. And it will be done and just not, I don't need that much money. I'll just try and get some to get something off the ground. But there's only Joe Owens that can save and resurrect British nationalism. All the rest of either abandoned British nationalism or they've given up. Well, I'm not about to give up. Okay, thank you.